Accurate system pressure and temperature readings are critical for proper diagnostics. And now you can broadcast these readings to any smart device using the YJack View app. This video demonstrates how the Yellow Jacket P51 870 Titan Digital Manifold and YJack Series wireless temperature probes put the system readings in the palm of your hand. First, the P51 870 Titan Digital Manifold hoses are connected to the system low side and high side service ports. To purge air from the hoses, open the blue and red manifold valves and then slowly open one of the yellow valves. Close all the valves once the air has been purged. Now this Y-Jack wireless temperature clamp can be attached to the high side of the system. The Y-Jack series of probes are easy to operate with a simple power button and a single status LED that is solid during startup and then flashes every two seconds when readings are being broadcast. Be sure to note the Bluetooth ID labeled on the back of the device. We'll use this ID to assign the temperature probe later on. The Y-Jack wireless temperature strap will be powered on and attached to the suction side of the compressor. The strap is great for connections to larger diameter tubing and tight spaces where the clamp will not fit. Be sure to pull the strap tight once the probe is in place for the most accurate readings. With the Y-Jack temperature probes in place, the P51 870 manifold can be powered on. Select pressure temperature session. The low side and high side pressure readings are now displayed numerically and on digital gauges. The system low side and high side temperature information is displayed in the gray boxes directly below the gauges. The refrigerant has already been assigned as R410A. But to change the refrigerant, tap on the lower right corner of the screen and use the scroll bar in the center to locate the correct refrigerant. To assign the system temperatures, tap on the box below the low side gauge. A list of available temperature devices will appear. To assign the low side temperature, tap on the Bluetooth ID of the strap probe attached to the low side of the system and go back to the readings screen. Repeat this process for the high side and assign the clamp probe attached to the high side of the system. With the temperatures assigned, the system superheat, SH, and subcooling, SC, values are automatically calculated and displayed. To change the system readings to a graphical format, tap in the center of either the low side or high side gauge. Now the pressure and temperature are displayed as line graphs with the saturation temperature and superheat or subcooling displayed below. Tap anywhere on the graphs to change back to the gauge display. These pressure and temperature readings can also be displayed on any smart device running the YJack View app, allowing you to view the system readings remotely. To get started, download and launch the YJack View app from a smart device. A list of available Bluetooth devices will appear and should include the P51 870 manifold and both Y-Jack temperature probes. To start a pressure temperature session, tap the three line icon in the top left corner of the screen and select pressure temperature. The low side and high side readings can be assigned by clicking on the dashed lines and selecting the appropriate device. Just like the P51870, the YJack View app displays the low side and high side pressures, temperatures, saturation temperatures, superheat, and subcooling. It also allows for target superheat and subcooling to be entered. All of these readings can be minimized or maximized to customize the displayed data. By default, the readings are displayed in numeric format but the same gauge and graphical displays are available on the YJack View app as well. But what if you want to monitor the system readings while further away from the system? This is a great opportunity to demonstrate the 67060 YJack Path. The YJack Path is a Bluetooth repeater probe 
that extends the range of up to two P51870 manifolds and six Y-Jack probes at one time. As the technician moves away to begin service on another unit, the P51 and Y-Jack temperature probe readings disappear once the tablet moves out of range. But a Y-Jack path can be placed between the tablet and unit where the P51 manifold and Y-Jack temperature probes are connected to extend their range. When the Y-Jack path is powered on, it illuminates lights for each Bluetooth device that it's repeating. There will be three lights illuminated for the P51-870 and the two Y-Jack temperature probes. Now let's see if the readings can be picked up at the other rooftop unit. As you can see, the Y-Jack path has extended the Bluetooth range of the manifold and temperature probes. The readings are now being displayed and we can continue to monitor that system as work begins on another unit. To log the pressure and temperature data, click on the three dot icon in the top right corner of the screen and select Create Data Log. Select the logging rate, toggle on the pressure temperature session type, and tap Save. A recording icon will appear and the data log can be started by tapping the icon. To end the data log, tap the Stop icon. You can then save and email the file for future reference. To take a screenshot at any point during the reading session, tap the three dot icon in the top right corner of the screen and then take screenshot. The system readings look good, so we can go back to the unit to disconnect the manifold and temperature probes. This has been a demonstration of the P51-870 Titan Digital Manifold and YJAG Series Wireless Temperature Probes. For more details, visit yellowjacket.com for product and customer support information.